Hey guys, welcome to Everything iOS. I'm going to be talking about uh, the Apple Watch first off, a quick roundup of what Apple released. So let's dive right in. First off, I'm going to tell you that they've released a nice new gold feature. As you can see there, the new stainless steel gold. They have a new digital crown design, all new haptic feedback, with that red ring display in the LTE version. The microphone just beneath it, but as you can see, has been moved to the opposite side. The uh, sensors at the bottom has all a new design, which I think looks really futuristic like. Uh, obviously, that does calorie burns and the heart rate. They introduced uh, a load of new watch faces, which I will just leave here now for you so you can take a quick look at these guys. And just to say now, guys, while you're looking at these watch faces, sorry about the, the loud beep you hear. I have a problem with the smoke alarm, so I'm just, I apologize for that. But as you can see now on the watch faces, you can have up to eight compilations. So that's, that's nice. I've always found it a bit of a struggle and always wanted more. But as you can see now, guys, it's a lot more compact. On the screen is over 30% over larger between the two faces. We have a 40mm and a 44mm and the screen now follows, the display sorry, follows the curves of the watch so it ties in lovely with the design. Um, from this watch face you can see you've got family members and you can just tap on these family members faces and get straight in contact. They also have three new uh, watch faces, dynamic watch faces to take full advantage of the new display so um, I know these are still images guys but uh, the water splashes out from the middle the vapor comes out from the middle and it bounces off the sides uh, I believe the next best thing then comes from the Apple Watch would be that the heart rate you get alerts for high heart rate as it did with Series 3 but now you get an alert for low heart rate and the most impressive of all uh, Again, low heart rate sometimes is tends to come across as good, but there are situations where the low heart rate isn't necessarily good. Uh, you can uh, diagnose AFib, as you can see here, so you can t recommend you to talk to your doctor. And one of the new features they got here, guys, is an ECG, which is what's coming right up here. So that's an electrocardiogram, which takes your heart rhythm by you just simply hold your finger on the digital crown and then it connects the electro circuit and it takes an ECG as you can see here in the demonstration that Apple showed and this is how the process of it works so it's using the digital crown sensor and then the normal heart rate sensor underneath which is new and improved you just hold your finger on it for 30 seconds after the 30 seconds up you'll have got an ECG reading uh, this then stores in your app data once your app data is all saved, you can make a PDF of it and uh, show your doctor. The way you do this, guys, is a built-in app, the ECG. And as you can see, uh, so yeah, guys, uh, let's move quickly on to battery life. Um, it has an all-day battery life. I think it said 16 hours or 18 hours battery life. And again, guys, it's waterproof. And obviously the all new gold design with some new straps. Yeah guys, this is the strap following up and I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick little 4 minute roundup. Thank you guys. Yeah guys, so if you can either like my channel and subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. Cheers.